How many of you have this problem right here? You're filming on your iPhone, you bring the footage back into Premiere Pro, and it looks like this. It just looks overblown and absolutely terrible. Well, we did a fix video for this some months ago, but the spring update of Adobe Premiere Pro is here, and Premiere has finally released a really good fix for this. So we're gonna show you how it works in this video. Hey, welcome to the video. So let's just jump straight into this. If you film in 10-bit on your iPhone 13 or 14 Pro, you'll have come across this issue where you pull in your HDR footage and it looks all overblown like this. And then what you had to do in the past is you had to modify the footage by changing the color space from Rec. 709 to Rec. 2020. And even though this would fix the blown out look, it would look a little bit too desaturated from the original. Now, instead of doing that, there's a new 2023 fix in this spring update. So what you need to do is go into your sequence settings and tick this box here, which is called Auto Tone Map Media. Now, straight away, that's fixed it. How good is that? Now, just be aware, it will look overblown in the media panel, but that's just the preview. When you drag it onto the timeline, it will look perfect just how you shot it. And then from here, you can still color grade it as well. You can even add LUTs onto the footage after it's done and check out how good these clips look here after we've put on the editor's keys iPhone LUTs on them. Boom, just simply drag and drop these on top. And if you wanna grab these iPhone LUTs, I'll put a link in the description below. Now, if you're working on a project like we do with multiple cameras, maybe you're filming on the iPhone, maybe a Sony camera in S-Log, maybe a DJI camera in D-Cine, like something like that, you'll know how hard it is to match all of those bits of footage and make them look right. You normally need to find a conversion LUT and it's just a bit of a headache. Well, Premiere have fixed that, so you now no longer need to do that. Instead, what you do now is you go into Premiere Pro, go to Settings, and then General, and then go to this box here called Auto Detect Log Video Color Space. And there you go, it's as quick as that. So I hope this video has helped you. If it has, let me know in the comments section below. And before you go, there are some other updates to Premiere Pro which are really gonna blow your mind, including text-based editing. If you wanna see that video, that will be coming up next. If it's not here, you need to make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video, and I'll see you in the next video.